Figures from the National Bureau of Statistics shows that the number of Nigerians without jobs increased from 17.6 million in the fourth quarter of 2017 to 20.9 million in the third quarter of 2018. How to tackle this challenge headlong is the reason why officials of the Industrial Training Fund have converged here. Through a detailed plan, the Director General of the ITF rules out how it intends to train Nigerian youth through an 11-point policy. The National Industrial Skills Development Program, NISDP, the Women's Skills Empowerment Program, WOSEP, the Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Training on Wheels Program, the Design and Garment Making as well as Training on Wheels for Nigerian youth under the Passion to Profession Program, P2PP. <clears throat> the Skills Training and Empowerment Program for the Physically Challenged, known as TEPC. The Construction Skills Empowerment Program, known as CONCEPT. The Aquaculture Fish Farming Program under the Agripreneurship. The Manure Production, the Crop Production Greenhouse Technology poultry farming, and the training program development on international marketing and test running, all under the sector of agripreneurship. While one of the basic objectives of the program is for job creation for the nation's unemployed youth, the agency is also considering the adoption of a curriculum that will expose young Nigerian to vocational trainings in their early years. The population of Nigeria is growing rapidly and unless we give hands on uh, skills education and development to these growing nigerians and growing population we may not be able to get to the desired destination if all go as planned there is no doubt that this initiative will create jobs and income for the nation's team in youth who are presently unemployed as well as address the seeming problem of youth restiveness in most parts of the country.